What is going on guys? My name is Mazin and welcome to the very first video on MetaMate channel. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more on how to build awesome mobile applications, web developments, programming tutorials in general, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you do not miss on anything. In this mini project, we will build a simple Android calculator app using Android Studio. So real quick, I would like to show you the end result of the app that we are trying to build so that you will have a clear vision on how the app will look like. In this part, we will try to build the UI of the app. You will learn how to create text views and buttons and how to position them in the layout using constraints layout and how to style them and much more. So without further ado, let's get started. So all you need to do is to open your Android Studio app and then go to File, New and Create a New Project and then pick empty activity and click next and then name your project and we will keep it my application click next so once you create a project you will end up having two files the first file is activity main.xml this is where you can create um, the UI for the app you can drag and drop anything from here to the layout using constraints layout and constraints layout we'll explain it later on how to position these components in the layout to be honest, there are many ways to create the UI for the app. You can go straight um, writing the code for the UI. You can have a, a clear output for your code or you can just drag and drop. But I think we should learn how to do it using the code. This is really important because sometimes you need to do some extra stuff that will be very difficult drag and drop components to the UI. So first we need to create two edit text views. First one would be for the calculation and the second one will be for the result. To do that, just we need to create an edit text and we assign it to the width of, to match parents and then we can have the height of 95, 95 basically DP. And then we need to give it an ID and we will assign calculation as an ID and then basically we need to have some margin margin top and we assign it to 5 dp and then we would like to start start the text from the end and not from the beginning and this is where text alignment and then text end we can pick a color for it and you can basically come to HTML color codes and this is a color that I really would like to use just put a hashtag before the code and then we need to set a text size of um, 56 dp and then we can have a style for it um, we will pick uh, bold so basically what we have done we we fixed the edit text to first constraints left so basically the left of this um, edit text to the left of the parent and the right to the right of the parent and the top to the pro top of the parent for the next text view you can just copy paste the first one And we need to change the ID because we cannot have duplicate IDs. We will call this result. And basically, we will set the left constraints to the left of the parent, right constraints to the right of the parent so that it will stick on both sides. However, um, we should not have this. So we, we need to have a constraints top, but not to the top, but to the bottom of not the parent but the calculation um, id so and all we need to do is to create two buttons um, one for clear and one for backspace to 200 dp i think it would be nice and then and the height of 18 dp And obviously we need an ID. Um, we will call it BT, BTNAC for the clear. And then 
we can reset the background color to um, this color. Nice. And then we need to have a text color as well. To white. And then we need to have um, um, a text. And this one should be clear. Yeah. And then text style to bold. And then text uh, size to uh, 20 SP. And then we need to basically have a constraint um, uh, on this button so that it would not position it on, on the top of the corner. And we need to set it down here. And we can do it just as the first one, constraints left to the left of its parent. Um, and then constraints top to the bottom of um, result ID. Just like that, that we will position the button below the result uh, edit text. And, and, and we can set a bit of margin to the left so that we will not have uh, the button st stick to the left. And uh, basically margin left, uh, we can set 5 dp, that would be nice. And then, and now we need another button um, for uh, the backspace. We, we can just copy paste the first one, and we should have a different um, ID for it. In this, in this case, uh, button delete, and then we should update this to backspace, and we do not need the button to be positioned um, exactly like uh, the, the clear uh, button. So basically we do not need to set the constraints left to the left of the parent. However, we need to set the constraints left to the right of button clear and and we can have and, and we can we can set the constraints top to to the top of um, to the top of button um, clear and now we have these two buttons we need to create uh, the other buttons for uh, the numbers and we will start from number seven eight nine and then we will have one operation and then four five six and then another operation and so on we can just keep on copy pasting um, the button so that you will, we will save some time and we will have a button um, 7 and then we will change the text to 7 basically but we need to reduce um, the size of the button to 118 that should be good and then we need to change um, the layout um, the constraint and then we need to change the constraints layout to um, layout constraints left to the left of um, of um, the parent and then to the top of uh, and then we need to change this from constraints top to the to the bottom of um, button clear and then we can have a margin of um, a margin left of uh, 5 dp that would be nice and we can change the size to 30 I think that would be really cool and now we need to create uh, button number 8 and 9 so we will copy paste this and then we keep modifying for the rest of the buttons and now we would have 8 and then we need to change this to 8 and then to the left of not the parent but to the left of button number 7 
but we, we, we do not need to set but we do not need to set the constraints left to the left but to the right of uh, um, 7 and then um, constraints top to the top of um, to the top of uh, button button um, 7 so to save time I will create all of these buttons and then show it to you so finally I created all of these buttons and styled them so basically I created button 9 and kept doing this um, to the end of button 8 and to the top of button 8 and then for um, the division same as um, up to the end of button 9 and to the top of button 9 and, and then we start over uh, for the second uh, row of the buttons and we will have button number 4 and this is where we will have it to the start of button um, basically 7 and as you can see the, the left constraints for button number 4 goes to the left of 7 so that it starts right um, below uh, button number um, 7 and then to constraints top and to the bottom of um, button number seven and then we we will we will have five uh, same as the others to the end of um, button um, so we will have uh, constraints start to the end of um, button number four basically and then to the top of button four and then we keep keep on doing this until we set all that and then basically I, I change the color for the equal sign um, to this color and then I changed all of the operators colors to not white uh, so that we differentiate the operators and now if we run this app we will have a result and this is the result of our app. We cannot interact with these buttons because um, basically uh, we have not created the logic uh, behind it in uh, mainactivity.java and this is what we will do in the second part 